So the whole world's wondering, would you actually grind your husband up? I'm gonna show you some stuff that will put that right in your head. Netflix's new docu-series Tiger King is just the kind of crazy distraction that the world needs right now. But now that we've gotten invested in Joe Exotic and the other colorful personalities involved in the show, what's next? The big cat drama is far from over. From the upcoming legal battle to what John Finley did about his teeth, we've got all the where are they now details about the cast of Tiger King. Carol Baskin wasn't too thrilled when she heard about Tiger King on Netflix. The owner of Big Cat Rescue actually posted a 3,000 word essay titled Refuting Netflix's Tiger King on her website in the post. Baskin claims that the documentary crew was supposed to be making the Big Cat version of Blackfish. Baskin hoped that the Big Cat documentary would have the same impact as the SeaWorld documentary and shed some light on the awful life the cats lead in roadside zoos. Baskin's husband also posted a video message on the Big Cat Rescue verified Facebook page, where he explains how the couple became involved with the documentary, echoing most of the same statements Baskin made in her essay. Other than expressing their concern about how they were portrayed in the doc, Baskin and her husband still run the Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. They upload images to their official Facebook account and videos to their YouTube channel often for all of the cool cats and kittens out there. As for Carol's ex-husband, Don, fans have been pretty vocal about thinking that Carol really did feed him to the tigers. But what does Carol Carol have to say? Well, in her essay, she says that Tiger King has a segment devoted to suggesting, with lies and innuendos from people who are not credible, that I had a role in the disappearance of my husband Don in 1997. But we can definitely expect to hear more about Baskin and her late husband's disappearance in the future. Hillsborough County Sheriff Chad Cronister posted on Twitter asking anyone to come forward with more information on the case, hoping that interest in Tiger King could reignite the investigation. I still think that she deserves to sit in jail for killing her husband. As for Carol, the next time we see her on a TV show will likely be in the scripted Tiger King series that's in development for Netflix. Kate McKinnon is rumored to be taking on the role of the Big Cat Lady. The founder of the Institute for Greatly Endangered and Rare Species, or Tiger for short, was also pretty unhappy with how he was portrayed in the docu-series. Doc Antle took it upon himself to release a now deleted statement on his Instagram account regarding the TV show. The post read, We are very disappointed that our facility was mentioned in the new Netflix series. We can only assume it's because Doc Antle has been such a high profile wildlife personality for so many decades that his association would create more buzz. But Doc Doc's definitely not letting the documentary bring him down. His Instagram account has been as big as ever, and he's posted lots of photos of his animals, including people swimming with big cats and even this photo of a chimp giving a guy a medical exam. Yeah, it uh, sure seems like things are just business as usual for Doc Antle. If you have questions about how Joe's husband John Finley is doing after the doc, he's started his Facebook page titled The Truth About John Finley just to answer them. He runs the page along with his wife Stormy Sanders and uses it to post updates and announce appearances. And Finley has been getting a lot of attention and doing a lot of appearances. He spoke with TMZ, did an interview on David Spade's YouTube show, and appeared on different radio stations. Opportunities he used to talk about his most exciting news, his brand new set of teeth. What upset Finley the most about the documentary was that it didn't show his brand new set of chompers, which he got back in July 2019. Finley claims that they had plenty of footage with him with his new teeth, but decided not to air any of it, likely to sensationalize the story and make him into a more colorful character, but Finley's not letting the finer details get him down. He still loves cats, works as a welder, and says he's doing great now with his wife and all his newfound attention. The man who was counting on a reality show about Joe Exotic ended up being a part of a major docu-series instead, but he is definitely not raking in the fame and fortune. I'm just tired, very tired. Rick Kirkham doesn't seem upset about how the documentary portrayed him, but he's definitely downgraded his lifestyle a bit now that his reality show tanked. He's currently living a pretty low-key life. A Facebook page reportedly belonging to the producer shows him chilling around the world with his wife, Kristen Kirkham. According to an unverified Instagram account that seems to be the real Kirkham, he was last seen visiting Norway. And to be honest, he's probably still mourning the loss of all of his priceless documentary footage. 
Jeff Lowe and Lauren Lowe are still running Joe's Old Park, the GW Zoo, which they've renamed the Greater Winniewood Exotic Animal Park. Pictures of the couple, their guests, and the animals can frequently be seen on the facility's Facebook page. Jeff Lowe is one of the people happiest with how the docuseries turned out. A statement released on the Facebook page by Lowe reads, I will always believe that our biggest contribution to the animal kingdom was helping the feds take down monsters like Joe Exotic. To continue their plans for rehabilitating the state of zoos, the Lowe's have expressed their plan to open another one in Oklahoma later this year. The couple also shared a photo to the zoo's Instagram account to answer people's most burning question, is Hot Nanny still around? The answer is yes, with the Hot Nanny appearing alongside Jeff, Lauren, and the big cat in the image. But even the hottest nanny in the world can't distract fans from questioning the zoo's practices. The exotic park currently has a three-star rating on Yelp, with a lot of comments on the lackluster cleanliness and small cages for the animals. Kelsey Saf Safari was the zookeeper at GW Zoo who lost part of his arm when he stuck his hand in a tiger cage to close the door. Saf was adamant that the accident was entirely his fault, not the cat's. This was just another day for me um, to overcome. In an appearance on David Spade's late night show Lights Out, Saf offered an update on the tiger that took his arm, saying, It's not the tiger's fault on my end. You don't have to put it down. It wasn't put down. We just moved it off of the park. The tiger is now sitting pretty in an area of the park that's inaccessible to guests. Saf blames his lapse of judgment on getting distracted by doing the same routine day after day. But the accident hasn't scared Saf away from dangerous animals. On the contrary, he still worked at GW Zoo until 2018, but decided to leave because Joe was his main reason for working there. But Saf promises he still loves his tigers, even if he's had to move on. And for those wondering, Saf did confirm that Joe was wearing a paramedic coat during the tiger mauling incident, and he even claims Joe told him he used to be a paramedic. <laughs> we wish we had some footage from those days. Joshua Dial was Joe's campaign manager when the Oklahoma Zookeeper ran for president in 2016 and then governor in 2017. Dial was also the one who witnessed Joe's husband, Travis Maldonado, accidentally take his own life. In an interview with Oxygen.com, Dial said that he's been working on getting past the incident. I have tried to move on and I have been successful so far. I was given a new life and second chance when I met my fiance. I have no desire to bring any of that pain into my life. Dial still lives in Oklahoma, but no longer longer runs political campaigns. Dial said of the incident, What I didn't know was how much it would take out of me. But despite the bad times he had while working with Joe Exotic, he still believes the 22-year prison sentence was excessive and that Joe was likely set up by someone. Dial also hasn't watched Tiger King and doesn't plan to anytime soon. And that's probably the last time I will ever see Joe Exotic. Joe Exotic's fourth husband, Dylan Passage, only appeared in the last couple of episodes of the documentary, but he is still in contact with his incarcerated husband. Passage has an active Instagram account, which features the last post he was ever tagged in by Joe from 2018. But there are actually zero pictures of the Tiger King on Dylan's Instagram, even though the couple claims that they're still married. Dylan does post a lot of animal pictures and images of him having fun with friends and enjoying the sunshine. There's even a video of him riding an elephant, with Doc Antle, who Dylan also follows. Mario Tabrawi, the owner of the Zoological Wildlife Foundation of Miami, is pretty active on social media. He has both a company account and a personal account on Instagram, and he's often sharing animal-related updates. His company actually has more than a million followers. Despite his relaxed lifestyle, legal troubles for Tabrawi aren't completely over. Though he was released from prison back in 2001 after being convicted of racketeering, he's been going after the law lately to try and strip back regulations on exotic animal parks. If you want to know more about Tabrawi's star chimpanzee Limbani, then you can check out the zoo's page for updates on the famous ape. Or you can go to Limbani's personal Instagram account, where the chimp has over 600,000 followers and seems to be living the good life. So what about the star of the series, the Tiger King himself, Joe Exotic? 
Well, we already know that Joseph Maldonado Passage is currently serving his 22-year sentence in prison for allegedly planning a hit against his competition, Carol Baskin, but that might not be the end of things for Joe Exotic. The former zookeeper has a lot of people interested in his case thanks to Netflix. Rapper Cardi B even said in a tweet that she'd like to start a GoFundMe to help Joe get out of prison. But of course, Joe isn't waiting around to be saved. The legal battle isn't over yet, as Joe has reportedly filed a $94 million dollar lawsuit seeking civil damages from various government agencies. He's even requested a presidential pardon. While Joe isn't up to a whole lot in prison, his personal Instagram account is inactive but public, so we can all check out his many eccentric posts that ended just before he was locked up. The account even contains private messages from Jeff Lowe and details about Joe's political campaigns, and of course it features a lot of animal photos taken at the GW Zoo. While the account only had 1,000 followers before the docuseries aired, Joe's now got himself more than 150,000 and climbing. We'll have to wait and see if Joe will get off on the charges, but if he does, he'll be coming back to a horde of fans eagerly awaiting the zookeeper, country, singer, politician's next move. Which Tiger King alum were you most excited to catch up with? And which actor would you like to see play them in a Hollywood adaptation of the docuseries? Drop your thoughts in the comments section down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Screen Rant for more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.